Some bees. Some bees. Oh, good deal. I have a good one. Thank guys. you. Well, this shipment of bees is all dead. We were gifted this nuke of bees from a viewer. We really appreciate that. We ordered it from a website online. They shipped it to us, took a couple days, and it just happened to be the two coldest days we've had in months. I wish they wouldn't have shipped this week, but there was nothing we could do about it. And these bees don't sound great. I do see some moving around, so there's hope that they might make it. I just need a place to set it out here, and then I'll pour the bees into it. You gonna help me? <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what to expect out of this hive. They just, they're not moving around really great. First thing I need to do is open this up, get the queen out. I'm just doing this as a precaution. There might be a slightly more aggressive bee than Italian. I'm excited to tell you about this breed, but. Okay, we got some bees moving. There's some bees alive. So here's our queen cage. Queen's still moving around here. That's a good sign. Don't know if you can see in here or not. There are bees in here. They're alive. They're very slow moving. So it's cold out here. I think they'll be lethargic for a few days. I hope more of them make it. If the queen dies, I'll obviously be able to get a reimbursement. I'll be able to get another nuke of bees, but I'm hoping these bees can survive for a couple days because we're gonna have 70s and 80s this weekend. So we just gotta get out of this 30 degree weather and I think they'll be all right. All right, so this time there's no need to rush this. I've got bees are gonna come out of here into here. We've got our queen cage. You got a bee. Can you say bee? <laughs> so these guys are looking great, but let's get them in their hive tonight. I hope they make it till we to build our new hive for it. Let's get started. <laughs> so how do you guys like to get your news every morning? I usually We'll lay in bed for about the first five or 10 minutes or so and I'll browse Facebook, Instagram, Twitter a little bit, see all the news, but it'd be really frustrating to read news from any side when it's biased. That's why today I wanna to tell you about 1440. It's your all-in-one news source. It's impartial and quickly digestible news. With limited time each morning to catch up on the most important news, the creators of 1440, Andrew and Tim, set out to create a means of providing a view of the latest news updates and happenings in the world without the clickbait, spin, in, encouraging readers to come to their own conclusions, all while delivering high quality articles in a digestible format. All you have to do is go to join1440.com, enter your email address, and you can get started for free. There's lots of categories of news, sports, science, business, there's in-depth stories, and there's even an et cetera section that is a lot of weird, unusual kind of stories. So get informed <laughs> without the biased news today. Just click the link in my description and subscribe to 1440 for free. All right, you ready to go check the hives? Let's get going. Uh, all dead bees. Such a waste. And our queen, she's in here dead. Darn. So I came out to this hive this morning and it looked like they were dead. It was pretty cold outside. Nobody was moving, not even the queen. I was pretty sure they were gone. And I'm delighted to see them moving around now that it's a little bit warmer outside today. So we're gonna do a couple things to try to get them going. Their container just came with this green gel stuff that I don't know if they're really getting much of. And so I really need to give them a boost of sugar water. We've got these feeders right here that take the place of two frames inside of here. So hopefully they'll smell that, they'll go down in there and then they can get some, some sugar water down on the bottom of that. The second part is I need to spray them a little bit. I've got some of that sugar water right here. If you actually spray it on them, they'll be able to lick it and it'll immediately give them some energy. Let's see if that works. It's probably gonna take just a little bit of time for it to take effect. See them eating you right now, so hopefully they'll do that and have a little bit of energy to get them through the night. So there is no better time for me to work on marking this queen than right now when they are all extremely lethargic. And so I'm just gonna let her walk right out. They're moving so slow, I can just hold her, put a dot on her, and then hopefully they can all make it through the night. All right, she is marked. This is insane how much action is going on here. After four days, this is day four, we finally have a warm day and they've been able to recover from their 30 and 40 degree days. And they are really going after the, the sugar water mix that I made for them. What I wanna see is if the queen survived. I let the queen go on day two. Everybody was really sluggish. 
And so I was able to get her out, mark her, and put her in. But she was looking pretty slow and lethargic too. So I want to see if she's made it or if they're going to have to build some queen cells in here. Now, this is a mess in here. You can see how bad it was. That is pretty much all dead bees. So I want to help them clean it out just a little bit so like they can make room for starting to grow their hives. This is what's so disappointing here. This is just a big pile of dead bees. There's a couple alive on here. I don't know if I'll be able to find the queen or not. I haven't seen her yet, but just so many bees that died in the first couple of days they got here. I have not been able to find the queen. So I'm gonna assume these guys are gonna try to make a new one, but I'm gonna contact some queen bee companies and see if I can get one sent here because these guys are without a queen right now and I think they're really gonna need that to get started. All right, well, we have a rare circumstance where one hive can help another one of our hives. We have our new bees, it's day six for them, and they are not doing great. But we've got a blessing and a curse right here at our red hive. I went and checked all of our new hives, and they all made it through the cold, and they've all been growing really well, but this one right here has some queen cells. So the queen died. She lived long enough to have some brood in here, and so they're able to convert some of the cells that she created into queen cells. And so we're gonna go in here. Becky recommended that we, we try this route, and we found some videos of some people moving queen cells over into a, a hive that doesn't have any queens or any queen cells of any kind and they haven't grown anything yet they haven't they're really just waiting to die it seems like they're not doing anything uh, storing any honey up or anything and so we can come in here and we can actually cut out a queen cell and take it over to them to raise as their own queen so over at this hive everybody's looking really healthy but the first batch of them died when they arrived and everybody is just over here eating the honey i tried to pinch it in between two frames and it didn't work. So it's holding it up without damaging the queen cell. So now we can put that in there and that'll hold it in place. All right, well, it's exciting because this hive is starting to take action because of this queen cell. I gotta act here real quick because I've got a little bit of time in between some rain here. We're going for it all with this. We're losing the hive if this does not work. There's nothing in our queen cell. There's nothing in our queen cell. They, they messed it up or did away with it or something. Well, I gotta order a queen, but we can give them something to do to try to build their numbers up in the meantime. We're gonna swap frames with another hive that's already building. One, it'll give them some honey, it'll give them some brood, give them a chance to hatch out some babies in the meantime. So we're gonna go to one of our other hives. We're gonna go to a carniolan hive because that's the queen we're gonna get. So we're heading out to the other hives. We'll grab a frame and I hate to do that to them because they've been working hard and queen's been laying eggs and they've been growing brood and we're gonna have to help this hive if it's gonna survive any more time. So this is that frame that we took the little hole out of the other day. It's all the way filled in. Right here is our queen cell. So right there is where they're developing their new queen. All right, you ready to put this in the hive? All right, so we got some honey over here. We've got some brood in here. They're growing some babies. So this will give them something to do for a little while until this new queen arrives and starts hatching out eggs. We've got a queen bee here to help replace the other one and let's hope we can get it in there soon enough we were trying to have them hatch out a queen this ended up being the route and our friends at last and queen bees came through in the clutch to get us a queen out the next day so, so we're gonna get the queen open get the hive open and get them acquainted to each other we've got our queen already marked i'm going to take this cork out and i'm going to be really careful not to let this queen go otherwise she could end up getting killed by the this hive here and i can switch it out for a little sugar cube. I've got the queen inside, I've got the sugar cube in, and now we can put it into the hive here. You can see our existing bees, they're working on the the brood and the honey. So it's given, oh my gosh, we got a queen here. We have a queen. We have a queen here, right here. I did not see her the last time I was in here. So we have a queen in here. I don't know where she was at, how she got here, but that is fantastic news. Now the good thing is, is that we've got a queen and we can use that on our red hive that is doesn't have a queen in it. You know, sometimes queens, if they're a, a virgin queen, they'll actually fly off for a week to become mated. So I guess there's a chance that that, that that is what happened. And the queen actually left and then came back and is now laying eggs. And so that's part of it too, that that could have happened that I wasn't aware of. Usually 
when they send you bees from a company, they send you an already mated queen, so they're ready to lay eggs. But I don't know, maybe in this case, maybe it wasn't. And she had to leave for a little while and I couldn't find her. All right, well, you guys confused yet on what we're doing or where we're at in this? We got our bees and they pretty much look dead. Barely moving, lethargic. It was really cold out and for a couple days, all they did was continue to die. We let the queen out, we got her marked. We ended up getting her in with the rest of them, but I thought she had died. She disappeared. And so we ended up trying to move a queen cell over from our red hive that had lost its queen. And they were starting to develop some new queen cells. But unfortunately that didn't take. They just destroyed that cell. We moved over a frame from the orange hive so at least they'd have some brood until we were able to get a new queen. We got a queen shipped in from Lassen Queen Bees, the queen company that we used last year to get our queen. Come on, Joey. And then when we went to the, the new hive, the Saskatraz hive, our queen was back. And so we didn't need the new queen in there. And so we moved the queen out to the red hive. Now we're headed back out to the red hive to make sure that queen has moved in and that any other queen cells have been destroyed. In there. So now we're out at the red hive. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna check if our queen has emerged from her cage. Otherwise we'll let her out. Okay, our queen is out. Never mind, I see her. She's got her white dot on her right here. She's right here. And then they're using, they're just building right, yeah. You're right, I ripped that up a little quick, but we did need to get this out of there. So our queen is right here, right along there. The last thing I need to do on this one is to smush our little queen cell right here. We need to make sure that no queens develop here. Ooh, and then here's an even better thing to see is a bunch of little eggs being laid right here. Now these guys were almost dead, hundreds of them, maybe thousands were dead about 10 days ago. The queen had come back at the end of last week, so they've had her in here maybe three, four, five days now. And there she is, there's our queen. Can you see her? She's right up here. Yes. So the interesting thing here is that this is a, a Saskatraz bee. It's a really, it's a, a good cold hardy breed, something that's uh, pretty hardy in our environments in the winter. And so the good news is, is that we didn't have to introduce a carniole and queen in here. We got our Saskatraz queen back. And so we'll get to see how they do compared to the other hives. Thank you so much to our viewer that provided this hive of bees for us. We are excited that we were able to take our apiary, our bees, from one hive to six to now seven hives of bees. Fun fact about these guys is that this is not the hive that they are gonna end up on. Uriah, you know where these guys are gonna be going into? The hive. <laughs> Don't tell them yet. How many chickens are in here? Oh my. They're sitting on the board, coaching. Hey, Bubbles. So our experiment with the goodies did not work out. They just hung out with the chickens and bothered them and pecked on them. They're kind of evil towards chickens. I don't know why. So we put them back into their original pen and we have them separated out. And so we thought we'd move them back to the Avery. It's not finished, but they can have shelter there and eat the ticks and grass and everything back there.